An Accra High Court has referred aspects of the motion filed by the former Chief Executive Officer of Cocoa Board to the Supreme Court for interpretation. Dr. Stephen Oponi, in his motion, demanded prosecution to furnish him with all relevant documents the prosecution intends to rely on during the trial. Here's a report by Godfrey Tanam. The defense team argued the accused person is demanding the documents from the prosecution to aid him put up a proper defense. The lead counsel of the defense team, Samuel Kujo, also demanded documents the prosecution will not be relying on for trial. Samuel Kujo insisted his client is entitled to all documents in possession of the prosecution. He further argued that the accused person was an official of the Coco Board and never acted in his own capacity. He therefore prayed the call to seek interpretation from the Supreme Court since the prosecution is opposing the application demanding the documents. Deputy Attorney General Godfrey Yebo Adami, leading the prosecution, described the application as irrelevant. He argued providing the documents will go against the fundamental human rights of the accused person since it will take time to furnish him with all the documents which which would delay trial. Godfrey Dami stated that the defense was only entitled to relevant evidence and not all the documents they have demanded. The prosecution further indicated the application is not supported by any human rights law as referred to by the defense lawyers. Court of Appeal Judge Justice Clement Honyonuga, who sat in as an additional High Court judge, said the issue in contention is already before the Supreme Court and it is proper to wait on the judgment of the Apex Court to ensure consistency. He therefore adjourned his ruling on the motion to April 30. Meanwhile, the court premises was not flooded with supporters, as was the case in Dr. Puni's first appearance. Godfrey Tanam, TV3 News, Accra.